Weekly gang, we're back. Education day, training day, deal sourcing, full house. Let me get that over and done with. Last episode in the season before Phil goes on holiday and turns into Duna. And also, guess what? Swansea, here we come. I got right, I got heart, I won't die, I'm going to fight. I go down, then I strike, I go hard day and night. Yeah. Not just incredible, sensational, awesome, amazing. It's going to be out of this world. Another emotional day and keep having these emotional days. Huge announcement. Let's talk about it. Let's get it out in the open. The drum roll, Phil. Craig's not bantering with Tom today. He's not having it. Should we see if the walls are up? Because the last time we was here, we was just getting out the ground. I think that was last week. Yeah. I'm always happy when I see things like this. It makes me smile. I think it's like the 11th extension that we're doing right now. There, the walls are up on the rear. Happy. Waiting for, um, we're actually waiting for steel calculations to continue. Everyone's slow. Everyone's slow. I don't get it, but everyone's slow. And we should have them back by the end of today. Then we can order the steels and continue with the back of here. Um, roof's going on. It's all moving forward in a good way. I'm in a great mood today as well. I know I always say it on the weekly, guys. I'm in a great mood. I am in a great mood. I'm in a fantastic mood. Had some really big wins as well today. And things are looking very, very, very positive. I'm excited. We have our Milton Keynes event on Thursday, which is my second part of the UK tour. Sold out. There's like, when I say sold out, there's about eight tickets left which is incredible for being out of Birmingham. I think we sold 167 tickets of the 175 that are available. The sport is incredible. Yesterday was a great day. Education days, training days are always good. Yeah, look at these. Look. Do you think they have any idea what they're talking about? What do you think, Phil? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Of course they do. They wouldn't be around me if they didn't have a clue what they're talking about. They're talking about this wall's being knocked out, that wall's being knocked out. Obviously, guys, you know me. Weekly gang. It's that wall that's being knocked out that they're all talking about. I might change in a minute. And not the one on the other side. <laughs> and put um, a spanner in their conversations. I wouldn't do that, really. The rubbish is still on the front garden, as I talked to you about. We just can't seem to find anyone to move it. So sorry to the next door neighbours who are very upset about it. Um, are you sorry about the bill that you hit me for with the party wall agreements? I don't think you are, are you? I'm really sorry about the rubbish though. This looks fucking cool. I'm talented, aren't I? <laughs> Craig's like, no, you're a headache. Vision's there though, isn't it, Craig? That wall's got to come out as well, guys. So if you look that way, that wall's coming out as well. This looks, this is going to like be, even people that have seen it and they've seen the drawings and they've seen the CGI, you still don't understand it until you actually physically go on to see the end product here. It's going to be not just incredible, sensational, awesome, amazing. It's going to be out of this world, this one. Even this, look at the size of this. It's crazy because I saw this before it was even done. Like I do everything that we do, I always have that crazy vision. But you make sure you don't overdevelop. That's the key to this industry. Make sure you don't spend too much money. Make sure it's there. Make sure you've got your comparables. Make sure you understand everything that's going on because it's okay doing what we do, but you've got to make sure the numbers are still there. 
it's important. I'm happy again, smiling. I like to see things like this. Tomorrow's a huge day for us because huge announcement. Let's talk about it. Let's get it out in the open. Let's have the drum roll, Phil. We're going to do one. You're going to do that. Like that. At 1 p.m. today, one of our agents signed a contract for a 1.35 million pound listing in the West Midlands. Contract's back. I have received confirmation that it's been signed. I've received the signed copy, actually. I won't show you the signed copy because obviously it'll be the personal signature on there. But there you go. It's signed, sealed, delivered. We have the keys. And tomorrow, I will be shooting our first ever video on the property, the listing, getting it out there. Very exciting day, again, like I said, a happy day. And me and Isabella are super proud of 11 Luxury Estates because it's gone from idea to actually happening within six weeks. And that is one of the key factors in mine and Isabella's attributes. We know if something's going to work and we will go for it. We won't procrastinate, we won't sit around. It's cost us about 150,000 pounds to set up and We've just gone for it. It is what it is. 16 agents. Opening day will be April the 2nd for new agents. So by the time this releases on Sunday, you guys will probably know that I'm sitting in my offices in Mere Green actually speaking to new people that want to board. Um, so that's exciting. But so far, so good. This project's good. That one down there is good. I told you last week the party wall agreements have been agreed on the one just behind there. So all three projects are now running back to full capacity. We're on track, we're actually ahead of schedule on this one. And everything's good. Weekly gang, I've put a coat on because I've come outside, but today I'm actually in a suit. You know, a modern suit with trainers. A suit that suits me. Not a suit where I'm standing behind, sitting behind a desk, like an accountant or a solicitor. Jeez. Shout out all your accountants. <laughs> <laughs> and, we are at our first ever listing for 11 luxury estates. It is bloody freezing cold, I'll tell you that. The house is literally there. Absolutely sensational. Unbelievable. 1.3 million is what it it's really should be worth. We're going to list it at um, offers over a million and see what happens. Guys, if you've been watching the weekly for a while now, you're going to see so many things change over the next couple of months. I'm going to start putting some of these houses on for you guys to see them. Any developers, any investors, this one's a dream. This one, actually, we were just talking about off camera about us buying because there's a lot of potential here. Um, the area is probably one of the most sought after areas in the Midlands. Well, I know it is the most, one of the most sought after areas in the Midlands. The whole team are here. Duna's going to work his magic as well, aren't you, Duna? Yeah. Yep. Maybe, maybe not today, but... You've got it under control, haven't you? So, yeah. So, if you are coming on board with 11 Luxury Estates, we do all of the media. So we do the YouTube content, we do the marketing content, we do all the Instagram reels, the TikTok reels, the photos, everything gets done for the agents. That's what separates us from everybody else in the industry. And you can only use our branded content as an agent, which is the best. You know that guys, our content is sensational. I'm really excited about this. I really wanna show you guys and give you a little sneak peek. I might give you a sneak peek of one of the rooms to show you how how you can modernize it because you'll know from just being in there. So come and take a look at this. So guys, this is one of the rooms in our first ever listing. And as you can see by the decor, it's dated. It needs modernizing. It's an unbelievable project. If you wanted to move in with the family right now, you could because the house is actually immaculate. It's clean, 10 out of 10 for cleanliness. It's just not modern. I mean, if you look at the blinds, the wooden slats, I've not seen that before. And even the, the stuff around it. So yeah, so it's a great house. I'm excited, I'm very excited. If 
I could nick this for 200 grand under the asking price, I would buy it because I know every footballer that lives down that way, every footballer that lives that way, and I actually know two footballers in the Midlands right now who are looking for properties in this area, and I've actually sent one of them a couple of pictures just. So they're going to say it's not modern enough, and that's where I come in and would like to buy it, modernise it, and then sell it. But I know she doesn't want to take the figure that I've got in mind, so we're just going to sell it for her. Excited. Do you like it, Phil? Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> You're in a 1.3 million pound house in this area. Do you know who this is, guys? Come take a look at this. He's feeling left out, because he's not here. Hello. Well, I'll call you in a minute. Let me just finish recording for the weekly. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't realize you're recording. No, no, I'm recording. All right, bye. -bye. Um, he's feeling left out because he's not around. Um, but yeah, so guys, I've said um, about three times because my brain's a million miles away. This morning, I had a fantastic meeting about the property circle, online education, the networking. I'm in Milton Keynes on Thursday night. 175 tickets were advertised. We've sold 179 tickets. Unbelievable response, I'm very overwhelmed. Franchise, well franchises of the property circle on the networking events where we do evenings are going to be sold around the UK later on in the year because I want to have a property circle meetup in every city in the UK and then start going out to the towns. I want to build the biggest education network in property in the UK within the next five years and I have so many plans. Stick around. So there you have it. First listing for 11 luxury estates is behind the camera. We're on the drive. Very grand house, very lovely. I really like it. Good day so far. We have realized that we need to make sure that we have some items with us when we do come to film certain houses. And we have a list now of things that we need to get. Very expensive list, by the way. Duna's got some research to do. Christmas time. <laughs> Apparently we need an FPV drone. You excited? Yeah. What were I was gonna to ask to use it? Dad, listen, it's your call. No, no, it's your call. I buy it, you, it's your, your responsibility. Taka. Taka. It's your call. We'll be doing. If Warrello uses the FPV drone or not. Should we just say no now, Warrello? <laughs> Warrello. Nah. So all of us guys, we're all doing this for Warrello to use the FPV drone. Yeah. So, he can try the simulator out. <laughs> yeah, he used to have a simulator in his house of how to fly planes. He had one built ah, okay, and everything. Yeah, yeah. Did you know Warlock could fly planes? Nah. Normally? Nah. Yeah, sends me videos now and again when he's in these planes by my house. Um, very weird, going off topic. Now I have to go home because I have to fill out a form because I need some more money released today. And I have a form that I need to fill out apparently that they're waiting for. So going home, end of a very long day fill you in when I'm back at my house. Guys, the prince is awake. We are having a team meeting and he is chairman of the board. We are deciding whether we should buy Duna an FPV drone or is he just trying to get one because he wants to have some fun. We was about to click um, Except wasn't we son, we were about to order it for him on Amazon. And then what happened? You decided to say, hang on, can he fly an FPV drone? Has he got the credentials and the skills to do it? I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. Is that what you said? Hmm, I know, yeah. It's pulling the face. We, we communicate in different ways, me and my son. Obviously he's a better as well. He was standing right behind the camera smiling. But, he had his first lesson. Did you see his first lesson, guys? Um, he was explaining how his nappies are reliability. Well, in the last two weeks since then, his nappies have probably doubled or trebled, and we have to buy more houses, basically. Yeah, is that right? You happy? Yeah? Bombastic side eye. Giving Phil a side eye. Yeah, he's like, why are you fucking with me? Imagine when he can speak and he's actually on camera and he's talking about all of the developments, cost of materials going up, 
And the conversation we had the other night about planning permission when he was like, let's finish this tomorrow, I'm tired. Yeah, that's what it is. But, um, yeah. Isabella's doing amazing. She's like super, you're like superwoman. Oh, he's gone. So today, um, filming at the house was difficult. It didn't go according to plan and the house was very dark. So we've rescheduled it to do it next week and we've come home, team are with me, and we have to order some new equipment because we need more powerful lights. Some of the, some of the rooms were really dark. Obviously the spotlights um, was, was just dull. The rooms were dull. Some of it had a lot of wood in there, which obviously the light doesn't bounce or reflect. So I've had to come home. I've had to order loads of stuff. Duna's literally given me a list, basically. He wants the stand-up lights, downward lights. He wants an FPV drone. I think he just wants an FPV drone, if I'm completely honest with you. Um, we needed some ring lights. We needed a new gimbal as well for vertical. Um, we needed new tripods. We need bigger tripods. We have like 20 tripods in the offices, but we needed really tall ones, smaller ones. There's so many things. And Phil, obviously, has not ordered anything, have you, Phil? You've not really said you want anything, have you? No, but Duna has put a list together, super expensive. I'm literally just about to order it on Amazon for next day delivery. Hopefully we get everything next day. Um, but yeah, so another day of learning that even though we go prepared, sometimes you have to go super, super, super prepared. And lighting and stuff is stuff that I don't know about. Obviously, Phil and Duna are geniuses. Um, I don't think anyone expected that house to be as dark as it was. Did you, Tita? It was dark, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. It, it, was, it was a bit, yeah, it, it shocked all of us to be completely honest. Um, so that's something that we sorted now, all done. I'm literally about to press order now. And yeah, another day, another thing learned. Learned, learned. Unfortunately guys, tonight's event in Milton Keynes has been canceled due to circumstances out of my control. But I have rescheduled it for this coming Tuesday, the 4th of April, same location, 6.30 till 9.30. We sold 193 tickets. I've added 30 more spaces. Everybody that bought a ticket has received an email with the new ticket. Same guest speakers, but I have one amazing new guest speaker who said he can make Tuesday, so stick around for that. Sorry for the inconvenience. Let's talk property is full steam ahead this Tuesday, the 4th of April. Weekly gang, we're on site with the girls who have just shot a video with us. Hi. Okay, <laughs> that wasn't staged. They're very calm. Um, how would you find it? Yeah, it was fine. That was yeah. fun. Yeah. Nervous, sweaty hands, but. Is this making you nervous though? The yeah. weekly part, or was you more nervous with? I think it's because we were sat there, like, yeah. we were just trying to not look uncomfortable. And... Yeah. Once you start talking, forget the cameras there. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay, um, guys. The video is about their flip that they've done where they made a fortune and this where they've refinanced it. I can't tell you what they're left in or what they've taken out because the video will be out next week. But we talked about women in property and some of the things that they've faced and some of the things that have worked to their advantage and haven't worked to their advantage. Um, can you say something that wasn't on the original video to give women who are watching this who are a little bit nervous about getting involved some confidence? Just do it. Yeah, just okay. Just throw yourself in at the deep end completely because um, you learn as you go. Yeah, and it's easier if you can try and find a friend that wants to do it with you because then you can go and do it all together. So. Okay, nice. <laughs> Team up as a partnership. Um, there's our Instagram and that's your company Instagram, isn't it? Not your personal yeah, Instagram. Yeah. That's your company Instagram there. They are documenting their journey more and more on social media up until where they might come on stage at one of the seminars. <laughs> Why do you keep saying that? One of the seminars, pressure. 
And maybe one day they'll start a YouTube channel. Maybe one maybe. day. Yeah. Maybe never one day. Never. never say never. Um, great day. And now we are going to Nando's. A quick Nando stop after filming with the girls. Um, 10 out of 10 this Nando's is. Trafford Park, what was your verdict on your one? Because you obviously had the, you, you different to us. You had your like, yeah, look at his plate. And then you can see everybody else's plates. Out of 10? Good Nando's, 10 out of 10. It will be 10 out of 10, no Leon Edwards, so it's 9 out of 10. It was, a good, it was a good Nando's. I have been offered a house in Rugeley, which is a two bedroom and a terrace. List price is £200,000, but it comes with planning permission for a one bedroom apartment over a single garage and a carport. Really cool. If Phil reminds me, I will pull it up, pull it up on my screen at home for you tonight. Um, I think I can secure it for 180. So I had a chat with the guy last night and he's gonna let me know today. Planning permission has been approved. So, just seems like a really good investment for a couple of rentals. So I might be buying that for Cruise 11 today or tomorrow. And then, COO Warrelow. Should be a rapper. COO Warrelow is up north, checking on some um, Developments, we're nearing the end of about seven or eight of them, literally nearing the end within a week or 10 days. And the one thing that he has picked up on and he's spotted is that the sites are an absolute mess. And he's put a group chat into all of the builders saying, clean the sites up because Steve's pissed and Steve's coming up next week. Uh, not saying it should be, I should get treated to anybody else, it should be treated differently to anybody else. But he knows how I am about sites being dirty. So I might show you some pictures of them. Again, if Phil reminds me. But the boys are all happy. New video being released tomorrow. Is that correct? Is it tomorrow now? New video being released tomorrow. HMOs, the one we shot two weeks ago. Everything's good. I'm happy. My son and Isabella are out for the day. They've gone to the park. Life is good. Guys, I talked to you about a property I've been offered that has planning permission, and this is it here. And... It's this property on the end, the land's there. Property's in okay condition, it's nothing, nothing too drastic. Um, but that there is obviously what we're looking at and the reason we actually want it, which is that. Because we can build a one bedroom apartment and it has two garages underneath, but one is actually a carport and one is actually a garage. So it's something that I'm very keen on. I like it. It's something that's pretty cool. Price, there's a deal to be done, but the numbers need to stack up. So I am there and thereabouts. I know what the cost to build is. Does it work for me at this precise moment in time? We're there like that but i'll get you updated probably next week because this is not going to be secured this week and i'll show you the actual drawings for the planning permission that's been approved okay guys so this is the property that i'm interested in buying and this is the one bedroom apartment that planning permission has been passed for so as you can see, the one bedroom apartment is a coach house, technically. The coach house is where it's built on top of the garages. Now, if you look here at the bottom, you can see that one's a garage, one's a carport. On the drawing, it looks like they're both garages, but they're actually not. That one's a carport, that one there, and then that one's the garage. Um, that's from the rear, so it's the opposite way around on the front. This is the layout of it. We have a shower room, bedroom, kitchen, living and diner all in one and a storage cupboard and then the stairs obviously come here and you walk up the stairs to enter into the one bedroom apartment. Great location, really like it and like I said, the numbers are there and thereabouts. The only thing I'm worried about is it being a mining area. I know there's a lot of coal mines in this um, place. So the search is 
could show that there might be an issue. Time will tell. Excited because, just excited. So also guys as well, I have about 14 or 15 projects up the north that are coming to completion. We're about a week, two weeks on some of them, three weeks on one of them, but we're almost there. Here's some of the pictures. They all look very similar because I've gone through the same thing throughout all the houses. I've just changed some colors of the tiles. Um, bathrooms are more or less all the same. I use like a P-shaped bath. Um, some have showers, some don't. Islands in most of the houses with the kitchens. Obviously guys, always Howden's kitchens is just something I like. Yeah, I had them all, brand new windows, brand new doors, fall back to brick. Um, spotlights throughout, tiles on the floor in the kitchen, tiles on the floor in the bathrooms, all around the walls in the bathroom as well. Um, some of them had tiles in the entrances, cream carpets throughout the whole house, but they've not been fitted just yet. And yeah, beautiful houses all coming to an end. I'm really excited, really happy because I'm about to turn my attentions to HMOs. I am naturally going in all for HMOs. The building the flats is something that we're doing completely separate, but now my focus is HMOs. Field source headquarters, more gifts, Cruise 11s, Dreams, Loading. Guys, that's the company. And they even put my initials and Isabella's initials on the back and candles and all sorts of stuff. So many gifts for Cruise. It's absolutely amazing. Still coming four and a half weeks after. Thank you guys, really appreciate it. A bit of, um, bit of a funny afternoon really. Um, I'm gonna touch up on it with you guys. So, when we started the property circle, obviously we had aspirations and dreams of it of where we wanted to go. And you start with groups and you go through phases and not everybody lasts the journey. Today I realized and I had a massive eye opener that my communication skills are not the greatest. Um, and sometimes your thoughts on things and other people's thoughts on things can get lost in translation and it can cause a divide. And it's not a bad thing that everybody who started with you doesn't finish. When you're elevating and you, you keep going and you're pushing every single day, you give 150% and you have people around you, when people don't do the same, they start to feel like you're the one that's changed and it's actually not you that's changed, it's just you are striving for perfection all the time and you're striving to be the best and most people can't keep up and today has literally opened my eyes to, you know, sometimes it's okay to outgrow people, there's no, you, you, there's, it's not always a falling out or an argument, sometimes you just go on different paths and different, you have different visions. So today has been a very, another emotional day and I keep having these emotional days and I think it's what makes me human now. I wasn't human before, um, but I am now. So today has been a very tough day, but a day that's, I feel like today is a day where everything starts to get better and we grow this company to the biggest in the UK. The YouTube's gonna become the biggest in the UK. Everything, just seems like it's aligned right now to work. Every single thing. And I'm so excited and I'm so thankful that today happened. Um, yeah, and that's it, because I'm getting emotional again. So I'll catch you at home. Yeah. Weekly gang, another season has come to an end. Final episode, then we have a week off. And the new season starts. And what a roller coaster of a season it's been. Obviously, the highlight my son was born. Mine and Isabella's first child was born. And Cruz 11 is here. He's about to become the prince of the property world, in my opinion. He is he's amazing. And I'm so happy. And it's crazy how it happened um, in this season. It was always going to happen in this season. What I'm talking about, his, his due date was in the season. But it's still crazy to think that he's here. I'm so proud um, of my Isabella. I am over the moon and super excited. Super, super excited. And I want to implement 
more of my home life, like I say, which I have. You guys have seen a lot more of me at home, which is um, pretty cool to show. And Cruise 11, the superstar is here. He is about to take over and it's going to be a journey and you guys are with us on the journey. And one thing as well, um, very controversial what I'm about to say. I don't believe that there is any points for second place, okay? I am, I'm either number one, I've either won, I'm, I, I, I cannot, there's no, there's no second place in my world, none whatsoever. And I am going to implement that into Cruz's world. And, you know, some of you parents out there and some people are going to be like, Steve, that's crazy. You can't do that. If Cruz enters a race and he comes back with a ninth place medal, yeah, you best believe he's being told in no uncertain terms, that is not a medal. Throw it in the bin. Get back in the race, and until you come home with a gold medal that says number one on it, it's not being, it's not entering the property. <laughs> Some of you might think that's harsh, but it is what it is. But what I can guarantee is whatever my son does, whether it's property or whether he goes off to do something completely different, he will just dominate every single thing because his mentality is going to be on a whole different level. He will steamroll whoever is in front of him because this generation is full of nonsense. And my son is gonna know in no uncertain terms, you win, you win at whatever cost you win. And Anyone that was born within the last 10 years and anyone that's born in the next 10 years, Cruise 11 is just going to wipe the floor with every single person that he comes in contact with. He's going to dominate, crush, and literally just walk over the whole of his generation because he's going to have that mentality. And I always say, guys, anyone can achieve anything. Anyone can be anything, but you're going to have to flick that switch. Well, I know my son's going to flick that switch from a very early age. And yeah, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with. He's here to change the world. So yeah, some of you might agree with it. Some of you might not agree with it. But that is exactly how it is. And I'm super excited to see what Cruz becomes. Because like I said, he's here to change the world. This season, emotional. I'm very emotional. I am all over the place. But I like it and I, I feel like I am, yeah, I feel better in myself and I feel great. I had a vision with Isabella. We had a vision. Cruz is here. That vision has just gone from here to like beyond anything that anybody can ever imagine. I am not stopping. I am not taking a, a foot off the gas. I'm not taking a step back. I now, 100 million was the goal. Not anymore. That's just like this big. It's going way past that now. And I know I'm going to achieve it. Me and Isabella are going to achieve it. And it's going to be sensational. And you guys are along for the journey. And you guys, unbelievable. The support that I get from you guys um, from the weekly, you know, it's absolutely amazing. And I massively appreciate every single one of you. And you know what? Even the comments where I get that are not nice. I actually appreciate you taking time out of the day to watch the weekly and watch the Instagram and watch stuff and still send me a horrible, nasty comment because it takes some doing to do that. So you guys are the real supporters. So keep sending me any comments you want to send me and we'll keep smiling. But everybody who sends nice comments and supports us, I massively appreciate all of you. Thank you very much for making this channel what it is. I want to give you so much more content. 11 Luxury Estates is here. All of the property circle education is going online. I have seminars. I am doing my UK tour. <sighs> Future's bright. And I have some huge developments that I haven't shown you, but instead of trying to hold things back and always doing the right thing, you know what? Dream big. And I'm gonna show you some of the shit that I actually do. That really is sensational, as in, it's not achievable for every single person, but I've done six seasons now where I've shown you 
30% of what I actually do. And now it's time that I actually show you every single thing in the property world that we do. So yeah, exciting. Next season, big, better. Just, yeah, my team, I have to say a massive thank you to my team. They're, they're incredible. Um, without them, you know, this doesn't happen. So my team, most importantly, my Isabella, obviously. She's the real CEO. She is, she is the real boss. She is incredible. She's super mom now as well. You guys are going to be seeing some appearances from my Isabella in the new season, which is really cool. You will get to see what a powerhouse of a woman she is. And, you know, there's a lot of people with a woman in property and this whole thing. Isabella doesn't need to be a woman in property that takes over. I think she can literally demolish every bloke in the industry. Um, so it's going to be important that you guys get to see me and Isabella run this whole world that we have built as a team like we have since forever and a day and obviously my little boy is introduced into it which is incredible and it's really important for me to bring crews onto this journey and show you guys because my upbringing was very disjointed my family members are all you know very argumentative you know the glass is half empty very negative you know i could literally buy my dream car, a LaFerrari tomorrow, and I'd get some of the people around me go, nice car, but expensive on the fuel, isn't it? Not, well done, Steve, you've achieved another goal that you've always wanted to achieve. It'll be like, nice car, but it's expensive. Nice car, but a few potholes out there, isn't there? That's what the people who was around me, that's why I don't speak to anybody. That's why I don't have anybody around me. I just stick to my team, stick to my family, and... I just carry on doing what I'm doing. And earlier on in the weekly, I showed you another side of me again where I was getting emotional. I had to turn the camera off because I got upset. Um, people who start with you don't always finish with you. And it's okay for people not to like you. It's very important that you understand this because a friend to everyone is a friend to no one because they're never actually showing the true colors. Me, I'm black and I'm white. And, you know, I'm a nice person, but I like you, I like. And, yeah, the journey's been incredible so far. And the next five, ten years are going to be even more incredible. And you guys are on that journey with me. So I'm not going to waffle on any further because you've been watching me for 35 minutes. You've been watching me for nearly 18 months to two years on social media, on YouTube. And I appreciate it. 14,000 subscribers is just around the corner. We might hit it before this video comes out on Sunday morning. Um, thank you all for the support. And I will see a few of you in Milton Keynes on my next part of the UK tour on Tuesday. But other than that, the season is done. Huge shout out to Phil, who makes all of this happen. If it wasn't for him, guys, you guys wouldn't see what's going on. And I will catch you all in the next season where the takeover continues and I grow the biggest property channel in the UK.